Well, I have with me Mr. Joe Gorham, who is with us from WHUR. And could you tell us why you came out to support the Marquee Foundation event? Actually, I've known Mark Downs since high school. We played football together. Um, last year, um, I saw the event online, and uh, I texted him and wanted to know why I was not a participant. So this year, I am a participant. Rider for life. Well, we're glad to have you, and we're glad to know that WHUR is supportive of something like this. And um, that's what we do. That's what we do. Yes. It's definitely a family affair. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you. But this event is so special because to do something for kids and to have the whole community supporting it, you cannot ask for anything better. And I just love doing it. It makes me feel good because we're all kids at heart. So what happens, it brings back the little kid in you when you see the presents under the tree and everything. I think Mark and I go back years. I mean, probably about 25, 30 years. And I was actually part of the very first Marquee Foundation that we did in probably 1999. Wow. So, yeah. So, uh, and I was uh, born and raised in Washington, D.C. and live in New York now. And had to come back home just to support this wonderful cause and, and to see old friends. Well, it's a great cause and a great event, and we're glad to have you. And t tell us how you know Planet Vehicle. How, what's your connection to us? Through Tesla, Tesla Motors. And Alvin and I go back as well, and um, you know, I've been able to provide him with vehicles along the way to uh, test drive and do wonderful stories on. And uh, so I'm happy uh, that he's doing well, and I'm here to support him as well. We have some wonderful folks with us that were here last year. I remember you beautiful people from last year, Ravonda and Damon. And this is what tonight is about. So what do you have in your hand, and what is the Marquee Foundation about? Well, it's about giving back to um, some underprivileged kids and making sure that they have a great holiday. So we've got some gifts for them as well, and just kind of come out and support everybody in the event as well. And how long have you known Mark and Yvette? Uh, approximately about three or four years I've been involved. You know, for me, with the uh, these kind of intelligent black men, it's all about giving back to the community, and it's for a great cause. It is, it is. Be a part of it. Happy holidays. Yeah. Uh, happy holidays. Amanda is very specially connected to the Marquis Foundation, um, Mar Miss Maryland. But tell us, first of all, how, how you know about the Marquis Foundation, how you're so uniquely connected. Well, Uncle Mark and Ani Vet are my aunt and uncle, so Ani Vet is my godmom as well. So Marky would have been my god sister. That's wonderful. And you're the reigning Miss Maryland now? Yes, the reigning Miss Maryland United States. So I give up my title in February. Well, congratulations on your win. That's quite an accomplishment. What would you say to other people or you know, who would want to be a part of something like this or why should they be a part of something like this? And, and we know it's to honor Marky, but what other reasons would they benefit? For me, um, healthy babies is something that I think everyone should know about, and a lot of people don't know about it. And just by being involved in things, you learn about so much more. So I think that they should definitely learn about it. Definitely. Well, thank you, Amanda. You're beautiful. <laughs> I have with me the Miss Renee, the People's MC. And tell us how you came to know about the Marquee Foundation and this event and what you've got in your hand here. Well, I've been friends with Mark um, for probably um, close to two decades, yes, and um, he and um, my family are friends, and I just wanted to come and show my respect for Marquis and the beautiful family and wish them a happy holiday. Yes, I brought some toys. I love your toys. Every girl is going to love these toys, the girly girl toys. It, it makes you want to be a kid again. Yes, it does. It does. All the frilly stuff, you know, that we used to grow up on. Yeah. Well, we're so glad to have you, and I'm glad you took time to talk with us, and Merry Christmas. I'm happy to be here. Merry Christmas to you, too. <laughs> I have with me Mr. Lawrence O'Neill, who's a member of the host committee this year for the Marquee Foundation, and just tell us how you came to know about the Marquee Foundation and Mark or Yvette Downs. Um, I came to know about the foundation and the event through my good friend, Mark Downs. Um, we've known each other for a few years, and uh, he always hinted around to me that he wanted to work with me, and uh, we have a mutual respect for each other. So um, he reached out to me this year and asked me to be on the host committee, and I'm excited to be a part of the event. You know, um, it does a lot of good. A lot of people come out, and um, I'm always happy to support good people. I want to welcome back James McDonald. You were with us last year. We did an interview, and you have brought someone special with you today. I did. I brought my daughter, Jay Ebony. Hi, Jay. 
Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So what do you know about the event and what's going on tonight? I know it's about Mark's daughter who unfortunately passed away a few years ago and it's to raise money. Yes, and there's a beautiful tree down there with all kinds of presents for kids that maybe won't have a Christmas like, like we will, right? Right. So and you have something in your hand there. Is that your gift? Yep, we brought a check. That's awesome. I know Healthy Babies is going to love that. And I think it's great that you brought your daughter. Yes, I wanted her to see what the community can do when they work together. Yes, yes. Well, that's a great place to come and see what it's about. Are you going to come back next year? Oh, I'm sure. It's so much fun. The Drum Foundation has played an integral part of the Marquee Foundation event here. And I have with me Wendell and Steven, and they're going to tell us a little bit about the Drum Foundation and how it's connected to the Marquee Foundation. Okay. Well, the Drum Foundation got involved with the Markey Foundation probably about 10 years ago when uh, Mark and I talked and uh, we thought it would be a good idea to get Drum involved with giving back to the community. And since that time, we've been very supportive of the organization. So, uh, you know, I guess maybe about six, seven years ago, uh, we had Verizon Vehicles actually bring toys for TOTS to the Children's Hospital of Washington, D.C., so that was really fun. So we've been involved with the Markey Foundation for a while now, and, uh, and our support for this organization is going to continue in the future. Actually, the Drum Foundation stands for the Development and Roundtable for Upward Mobility. It's an organization I co-founded at Verizon back in 1993. So we've been around for a while. Uh, our primary mission is to give back to the community. Uh, we mentor African-American males at the Verizon Communications, and we also get involved in giving back uh, not only to the youth uh, here in the Washington metropolitan area, but also doing strategic partnering with organizations such as Mark and the things that he does for Washington, D.C. I have with me another great host committee member for the 2014 Marquee Foundation event, and it's Mr. Jeff Banks. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. It's a wonderful organization. It is. And how long have you known about the organization and Mark and Yvette? About the last, uh, I guess, five years. Uh, his wife, Yvette, is from my hometown of Cincinnati, Ohio. Go Bengals. <laughs> I love it. We've been asking everybody how they're connected, and everyone has a unique story, and I love that. What would you just say to someone who wants to come out and maybe find something to do at Christmas to give back? Why would you tell them to come to this event? It's a great organization. Bring a present for the kids. It's a great opportunity to network. I have saw probably eight people from my uh, church here, unexpected, all kind of uh, connections. So this is a great organization and a great venue. I would say come on out and support the kids. Party with a purpose. I've known Mark and Yvette probably all my life. So um, it's been Anytime I can support this uh, wonderful organization, I do so. Wow. So you really saw them through um, Marquis' situation and before the event was even founded. And yeah. you're really family. Oh, no doubt. No doubt. We're, we're, we're like the family that has the love-hate relationship. You know? <laughs> uh, we're, 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 we've been together forever, and we love each other madly, all, all the whole family. Well, that is truly seen and felt here, and I think anybody that comes to be a part of this would feel like they're welcomed into the family. And no doubt, no doubt. Good good group of people. With me here, Walter. And, Walter, you've been connected with the Marquis Foundation for a very long time. I have, and, you know, Mark does a, a lot of good things in the community, and he's a very personal friend, and I'm excited to be here. I'm the president of 100 Black Men, which is a mentoring organization in Maryland. We mentor youth in the inner city. So I love how he gives back to the community. And this is an event that you can see at the Mandarin in Washington, D.C., with all these lovely people that he does every single year. It's a great, great program. And I'm so excited to be here to be a part of this. Wow. Well, I'm not surprised that he, he knows wonderful people such as you that are part of organizations that are giving back. And yes. Yeah, and, you know, it's, it's Mark is, as you know, Mark is a passionate, good guy that believes in the community, believes in the children. And look at the look at the ambiance. Look at the people. Mark knows everyone, and I'm honored to be his friend. I'm honored to be a part of this situation, and this is a great, great night for his organization. Isn't it? 
And Evelyn, you've been a part of the Marquee Foundation for quite some time. How do you know Mark and Yvette, and how did you get connected to the foundation? Well, I've known Mark and Yvette for many years, probably about 15 years, just wow. out of our networking here in Washington, D.C., and we participate in different uh, um, organizations and do community things together. So I was honored this year that they invited me to be part of their host committee. Um, but I've been attending their events forever. I bring lots of toys. <laughs> Well, and that's what they want, and I'm sure Healthy Babies appreciates that. Yes, and that, in fact, Healthy Babies is an organization that I got involved with before I even met, uh, before Mark and Yvette brought them on as one of their charities. So I actually still, to this day, I, I had a Healthy Baby um, uh, Christmas gift about four years ago for a young woman who was 14 at the time, and she had a one-year-old baby. So she's 18 now, and her baby's four, and I just delivered their big bag of gifts. Wow, what a great story. So kept me. That's amazing. It's a great organization. It is. And Marquis is fabulous. Yeah. I am very happy to have with me Father Bruce and you are, you've been a part of the Marquis Foundation for a while yes, and you play a special role. Tell our audience. Well, kind of as a spiritual advisor, but more importantly just a friend and supporter. Um, Mark and Yvette have a unique way of staying in alignment with the will of God. The word of God tells us very clearly that I will bless you so that you will be a blessing. And it's so important that we don't get caught up in our own anointing. We don't get caught up in our own blessings that we understand that our blessings have been given to us so that we can give them away.